Hey everybody, this is Dave with Mile High Drone Services. It is December 30th, 2022. We are out at the Longmont RC Field in Denver, right after a big snowstorm. So it is cold. Anyway, what we're gonna test today and demonstrate is the drone avoidance feature of the remote ID receiver. Uh, this feature is available both on the small display standalone unit or the bare bones and also the large display. So without further ado, let's get some drones in the air and see how this thing works. Alrighty, so we've got the small display and the large display unit uh, scanning, waiting to see a drone. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, turn on the Mavic 3. Take off. So it does see the drones. But we want to uh, tell these devices that our drone is the drone that we want to detect, um, be notified if other drones appear. So we need to go into a mode. And there's our drone. So we will push and hold. Just a second. So this drone will be used for the obstacle or for the drone avoidance. And we need to do the same thing on the small unit. Okay. And so it is now telling us that there is no drone detected within 200 feet. So now what we'll do is we'll send the Mavic 3 up and we will send it out about 500 feet and then we'll send up a couple Air 2S's to fly in the vicinity and it should detect those. Okay, so we've got the Mavic 3 in the air. It's about 500 feet out and we have two Air 2S's in the air. So now we're gonna have one Air 2S uh, fly towards the Mavic 3. So Doug, go ahead and uh, fly towards the Mavic 3. Okay, go ahead and stop, Doug. So it detected Doug. He is now 45 feet from the Mavic 3. Go ahead and come back towards us a little bit, Doug. Keep coming. Okay, go ahead and stop. So Doug is 157 feet from the Mavic 3, his bearing is 169, which means he's south of us. So Wayne, go ahead and fly your Air 2S towards the Mavic 3. So, okay, so Air 2S, go ahead and stop, Wayne. The Air 2S was detected, the other one, and it is 116 feet. So since Air, the second Air 2S is closer, that is the one that's being shown. And then we can scroll through the data to get more information about it. Okay, Wayne, go ahead and fly back towards us. And so now Wayne, uh, Wayne's Air 2S is uh, out of the 200 foot uh, danger zone. So now we only see air, yeah, the first Air 2S. So go ahead and uh, fly around, Doug. Go ahead and go closer and further away. There we go. Okay, Wayne, go ahead and send your Air 2S over there too and be flying around towards the Mavic 3. So, okay, it just detected the second Air 2S, but the first Air 2S is only 17 feet from the Mavic 3, so it's the one that's being focused on. It's a little bit higher though, right? Go ahead and fly your Air 2S, Doug, back towards us. Okay. 
Yep, and so now it's picked up Wayne's Air 2S. There we go. Okay, Wayne, go ahead and bring your Air 2S back towards us. And so now we have no more drones detected. So that's it. That's a demonstration of the drone detection feature in version 3.0 of the remote ID receiver, aka the UAS Sentry.